Hi everybody and welcome back to Lost Genre Reddit Stories. Alright, even though I'm not in my final studio yet, in between building closets and putting up doors and all that stuff that I've had to do with the moving, I've been able to make a setup that sounds better than a soda can. So today I'm recording from inside a shoebox with a little bit of foam that's opened on top. Now let's get started with today's story. This post is from the subreddit Relationships and it's by user Deleted. My 27 male girlfriend of a year, 22 female, has been accused of cheating on me. She denies everything. I don't know who to believe. Okay, I'll try and put everything together in a short way. My girlfriend has been accused by two of my friends of cheating on me. She was seen by many people and the guy has apparently confirmed it. She was out without coming home for two nights. The two nights she is accused of being with him. She is denying everything, but in ways that lead me to want to believe her. I want to. I truly want to. I just don't know if I can. She didn't seem like this kind of a person. If this is true, she has been coming home and saying that she loves me and sleeping with me. Everything is vague and neither she nor the guy have admitted anything to me. She has nothing to lose as we're already in the midst of a bad fight where she can just walk away. But she adamantly refuses that anything at all had happened. I have no idea why my friends would say this to me if it weren't true. I guess I'm clinging to anything to believe it isn't true. I just need some advice because I feel like my head is going to explode. I loved this woman with all of my heart. She was who I thought I would spend the rest of my life with. If anybody cares, I can provide more details. Please help me wrap my head around this. Maybe I'm just pretending or hoping. Thanks. Well OP, even though you don't have a signed document that states that she cheated on you by both of them, it kind of sounds like she did. I mean, she was away for two nights not contacting you, apparently, I don't know, doing whatever, and your friends told you that on those two days they saw her cheat, and also that the guy confirmed it. So it does kind of sound like you are just trying for this not to be true, like you're using your mind to will this into have never have happened. Now, in my country, we have a saying that I don't know if it'll translate right, but it goes something like, there's no worse blind than the one who doesn't want to see. No hay peor ciego que el que no quiere ver. Maybe other countries use it as well or have a similar saying, but in this case, you truly don't want to see it. You said so yourself. Now, as opposed to any other story that I've ever read, before reading you guys the community comments, I need to read you OP's edits, because nobody commented on OP's posts before the edit. So let's continue with OP's edit, and then we'll go with the community comments. OP's edit. I guess I'll tell you the whole story. Maybe it will help me. We've been together for a year tomorrow. We have lived together for a while now. We generally do pretty well together. Fights here and there, usual stuff. Money and sometimes sex. That sounds weird. But whenever we do have sex, it's great sex. She genuinely enjoys it. I study this woman. I spend every second I can with her. I know when her mood changes in the slightest. So every now and again, she goes out and parties. Whatever. She'll get too drunk and stay at a friend's place. However, usually with no call to me. This is the biggest reason we fight because it has begun to happen more and more frequently. So, two Saturdays ago, she stayed after work and went out with some friends. She didn't come home. After she finally showed up the next morning, she acted as though I was a bad person for worrying about her. On the following Monday, I asked her what happened. She was acting off. We had sex and it seemed like she didn't want to touch me. She said she was feeling sick. So I asked her if anything had happened on Saturday night. She said no, she was just dancing with some guys, promised me she loved me and that she would never do anything. Thursday was her birthday, I planned the entire day out, she said it was the best birthday she ever had. Friday night, she goes out to celebrate and doesn't come home again. This time, however, I was actually really worried because she was sat with someone overly responsible and they were supposed to have spent the night at home. Plus, I had her friend's keys. 
So her mother and I started to get very worried. When she showed up, she was incredibly angry that I had bothered so many people looking for her that she was fine. She said she ended up going home with one of her friend's friend. Her friend said she didn't know who she was with. We fought and then we cuddled for hours. Then I got a phone call. My friend said, look man, I have to tell you this. My girlfriend saw your girlfriend making out with another guy she works with on Saturday night and she went home with him. That's also where she was last night. She denied everything, crying and everything. I spent all day yesterday trying to figure out what the F was going on. She said they were just dancing and that she did go home with him but also with another friend and they just had a few drinks. So here's where I started probing. I messaged the guy and he said, well, this is something you need to talk to her about. I didn't mean to step on anybody's toes. That's all he's told me so far. She came home and we talked. She promised up and down that nothing happened. She said she loved me and we cuddled again. But I had plans to meet up with the same friends who had told me about her cheating. When I got there, they told me there was more. That she had sex with him for sure. That he told them himself. That she had been heard saying she wanted to F him. I stayed the night there and got home this morning and accused her. She was very angry and she swore on her relative's grave that nothing happened and that they were wrong. She never does that unless she's very serious. I can see that. I kept asking why he would say that. She won't answer that question. Now, here's the thing. She'll still adamantly denying anything happened. She has no reason to. She broke up with me. Also, for her to do that, she would have had to have known it would get back to me. I work with significant others of the people she works with that she was out with. So if she did do it, knowing it would get back to me, why not just admit it? I convinced her friend to send me proof. The two texts that mattered that she said were, I'm a bad person because I don't feel bad for making out with this guy and please have my back and say we didn't sleep together. This was to the friend that let me know. So, I mean, you can read that in two ways, right? No. Say we didn't sleep together as in we didn't let people know or lie for me. These people have no reason I can think of to lie to me. But also, this isn't the woman I love. I never thought she was capable of this. Sure, she's been overly flirty in the past, maybe an inappropriate text message or two, but I've always known she loves me. Is she insane? Am I? There are more details, I'm sure, but this is the gist of it. Alright, OP, now that we have all those details, I definitely think she was cheating, and the reason she's denying it is because she gets to stay for free at your place. You moved in together in less than a year, and you've got money things going on. I don't know what that means. You just said money, like it was some context, but I'm guessing you're footing the bill for most of the things going on in that house. Now, I've already given my whole commentary, so I'm just gonna let my Nana, who's here listening to the story, to just pitch in really quickly, and then we're gonna move on to the community comments. Take it away, Nana. Oh, my sweet summer child. 1986 throwaway 1986 says she's guilty as hell. I'm sorry, but this isn't a gray area, buddy. Her texts are damning evidence she's trying to cover it up. Do yourself a favor and end this nightmare of a relationship. This isn't good on any level. Put simply, if she was a keeper, she wouldn't put herself in a position to be accused of cheating. She's already done stuff before like flirting and attention seeking for other guys. These are all red flags being waved in your face. She's not a good person, let alone a respectful girlfriend. Dodge a bullet and break up. Protostorm says, this looks like an awful relationship. She goes out without contact for days, apparently, and swears to God she's not cheating and gets mad when you're concerned about her and other people say that she's cheating. This isn't how a person in a monogamous relationship behaves. This isn't how somebody in a loving relationship acts. Where's the respect for your relationship? I assume she's cool if you went out for a couple of nights without contacting her and going to screw around and dancing with girls. Get out man, this is not going to get better. 
And Mintpuff says, you're having a pretty normal reaction many people get when they hold a core belief so dearly and new evidence comes along that conflicts with your core belief. You believe so strongly that your girlfriend is an honest and trustworthy person who loves you and that you will spend your life with that even when presented with solid evidence showing otherwise, it's easier to ignore or deny that evidence than to have to rethink or accept that your original assessment may have been wrong or misled. In the future, a year is not necessarily long enough to know a person completely and let initial dating facades fall away. Take it as a lesson learned, my friend. Additional information from Opie's comments. I guess I'm just looking for answers. The why of it all, you know? Clinging to effing hope that maybe, just maybe, this isn't the case. That she's not lying. I'm just effing devastated and trying to get every detail is keeping me from focusing on the fact that you're all probably 100% correct. And the woman I love could do something like this. They say she was at a bar and was seen making out with the guy, apparently. She says she was just dancing. She left in a cab with him. She says nothing happened. They say she effed him. I just thought that when people would cheat, it's because it was a crappy relationship, you know? I always thought that there was a reason behind it. That might be the hardest part here. She just randomly effed a dude she's known for less than two weeks. He's from her work. And people are capable of that? I don't get it. I just want to pretend it isn't true, that she couldn't do it. I see the writing on the wall, I get it. When she would say I love you, I would say how much. She would say with all my heart, and I would ask for how long, and she'd say forever and ever. I guess it just became words. Alright, so apparently the community was able to open Opie's eyes and he just sounds like a really cool guy or a nice guy that was just in love and got his heart broken by a horrible human being. But like that last commenter said, this is a good idea to take the lesson as learned and move on. So let's do just that and move on to the update to see what happened next and how the story ends. Hi there! So, it's been 7 months since my original post. I was a damn mess. You know, I always kept a soft spot in my heart for you guys after how kind you were to me throughout that turbulent part of my life. Maybe Reddit likes to push that r slash relationships is not helpful or a bunch of people advocating ending any and all relationships. And while that was the general advice, I found a lot of great people that made me give my head a bit of a shake. So thank you. To finish off that story, yes, she did cheat on me with the guy and had been for a while. That was hard to learn and a tough pill to swallow. Once I had digested it and calmed down, I did what I was told not to. I talked to her. We talked out the problem, why it had happened, where our relationship had gone, and we worked it out. We were happier than ever. Pay attention to the adjectives now. We had a few short, great months, really in tune with each other, really working together on the relationship. Then, four months ago, we had a bit of a blowout and took some time off from each other. We never ended the relationship. She simply went and spent some time with her mother while I stayed at home. We worked that out too. A month after that, we were back together. We were talking about having a baby. Everything was sunshine and deafing rainbows. What an effing joke. Guess what? Every single one of you was right. Weeks ago, everything came out. That time, while we were fighting, you know, the blowout. Then later, while we were working together. Then also, while we were great. Yeah, she effed over eight other guys in that time, including going back to the original guy. That's not an exaggeration. That's a real number. And she was dating one of them. Can you imagine? All of that while coming home to me, lying in my arms at night, talking about love and the future. That's effed up, eh? Makes me sick to think about it. But this time, I didn't deaf around. She was out of the house that night I found out. In the last few weeks, I've learned who she really was all along. A lying, manipulative, downright awful person. I can look back now and realize just how bad it was. I didn't realize it at the time, but this is a classic case of gaslighting. 
I never thought a 110 pound 22 year old girl would end up abusing me to the point where I wasn't sure of my own thoughts and that's why I'm writing this. Not for the congratulations or the pity. No, I'm writing this as a warning. This is very real and if you feel you are in this type of relationship, you need to get out. You need to walk out the effing door and burn that bridge down and don't look back. I do not think that I can say if they cheated once they will again, but it certainly was the case for me. But that's not the warning. Please, really evaluate your relationship. When I told my mother everything that had been going on over the last year, she was horrified. I was so blind I couldn't even recognize how royally effed up this relationship was. Ask yourself if your relationship is truly healthy. If you're unsure, ask someone else. Here are some of the red flags I ignored. Well, obviously everything has to do with cheating. I mean, excessive lying to the point where it started to not make sense when I would question an obviously fake elaborate story, somehow I would end up feeling guilty that I had questioned it. She has a sick grandfather and used it against me constantly. What kind of monster questions why they're going to see their sick grandpa at 11 p.m. at night on a Thursday? Hint, she was effing someone. Throughout the course of the last year, she didn't work. She lived off of my money. I knew it. And she knew exactly what to say to me any time I had a concern. I became ostracized from my family and friends because they weren't good for me. I was convinced. The list goes on. I wrote in my previous post that I knew this woman like the back of my hand. The truth is, I didn't know her at all. But she knew me and knew exactly what to do to get what she wanted out of me and how to keep me in line with what benefited her. Please, I'm asking you, if you feel like you're experiencing this, talk to someone. Get out. It will not get better. It is abuse and you are a victim. Message me. I will help you in any way I can. Stay happy. Thank you for everything, especially those who messaged me. I'm sorry I didn't get back to you, but I read them. I read them multiple times. Alright OP, like Andy Dufresne, you crawled through a tunnel of crap and came out the other end clean. Maybe a little lighter in the pockets, but still, you're doing good now. You learned your lesson and you actually have your eyes open to this kind of crap. So congratulations on that OP and here's wishing you the best in the future. Take care OP and thank you for sharing. Now, let's finish this video with a mood booster post. This post is from the subreddit Malicious Compliance and it's by user Red Maya April. How a local doctor got the best malicious compliance against my boss. Somewhere around 2007, I was working as a drugstore manager, running the entire front store and pharmacy. The pay was excellent for someone who was in their early to mid 20s, but the job was also soul crushing in some stupid ways. A rule came down that cashiers can no longer have drinks at the register. They can drink on their lunch breaks and otherwise shouldn't need water. At the same time, they dialed back the air conditioning so the store was constantly uncomfortably warm but not technically dangerous. I had some of the best staff. One lady was roughly 65 and came to me to let me know she was on medicine that gave her a dry mouth so she needed me to know if I took her water away she would really have a hard time being able to talk to customers. She almost developed a lisp when she couldn't have her water. I told her, no worries, have your water and I'll deal with my boss when he sees you someday. Because he was running 40 stores and mine was generally not a problem store, he only came by every 60 days or so. Eventually, he does swing in and asks her about her water. She said she had a medical condition and I told her it was fine. I also told him I had approved the water. He pulls me into the office to let me know that for her to have the water, she needs a doctor's note. If he sees her with it again without a note, we both get written warnings. He explains this is because not following the company rules can't be a decision made by me. I'm flabbergasted. I'm just the manager in charge of the store. This company literally made me do drills on how to deal with bombs and shootings, but I can't approve a bottle of water? It must have been an exception deemed necessary for medical needs. I explained this is stupid. He actually agrees but says he's also following orders from above. Great! 
I pull my cashier aside and tell her what's up. I said I'm really sorry, but can she please just get a doctor to fax a stupid note over so we can cover our asses? She got a little gleam in her eye and I was excited to see what it meant. On her next shift, she rolls in and says, you are going to love this. She hands me about a hundred copies of a letter that says something along the lines of, I do solemnly state that cashier is medically a human being and requires water on regular intervals while working and not solely during breaks. This was a massive waste of my time and your company should be ashamed of yourself. I will be recommending your competitor as much as humanly possible to my patients who fill prescriptions in this town for the rest of my natural life. Signed, Dr. Blank. The next 40 were identical letters, each with a different staff member listed as my genius cashier has nagged an old schedule with first names and last initials. The rest had a blank space for me to fill in new hire names so our staff could all have drinks on the sales floor. My boss wasn't even mad. None of the higher ups above him ever mentioned it on a store walk so I assume it was covered in a meeting of people higher up than me. Well OP, they wanted a doctor's note and they got a lot more than a doctor's note. Thanks for sharing OP. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. Now, if you've gotten to this point in the video, I assume that you like these stories that I'm reading out. So here are a couple more that you might enjoy. And if you don't have any time to watch another story right now, save it for later. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.